What if you don't need to live in pain and suffering? What if you could give up your karma and have a life of abundance and joy? What if you could start creating magic and miracles that you never thought were possible? Get ready to listen, share, and experience the magic that is you. Now, here's the host of Creating Abundance with Ease radio show, Dr. Helen Gitlovich. Welcome. I'm Dr. Helen Gitlovich on Creating Abundance with Ease. And today our show topic is gratitude as a way of life. So how much of your life are you in gratitude and how much are you in pain, suffering, or judgment? What is causing it? And what can you choose now if you actually are aware of what can create more? Let's have a conversation of how you can change your life to be happier, have a little bit more ease. Because magic is everywhere and you can choose based on magic. With me being a medical doctor, you would say medical science does not believe in magic. Medical science is all about pretty much tests, medications, vaccines, bacteria, viruses, tumors, cutting it out or doing something else with the body. There is no energy. Energy healing. What is that? This is all quack. <laughs> Actually, when I was practicing, I used to be called a witch doctor because I truly believe that there is more to medicine than just pills, vaccines, and surgeries or shots. Uh, it's more about who we are and what we are. Our thoughts creates our reality. So with me, um, at 37, ending up with open heart surgery, I had to rethink my life. I had totally revamped it, went through divorce, sold my practice and started searching for ways of helping myself because I was in the middle of major depression and pain. And that kind of like, looking at all of that was, wait a second, that doesn't work. So I was doing Reiki, I was doing Akasha Crackers and finally came to access consciousness. All of the modalities that I've taken, awakening and um, data healing, I mean, you name it, I've tried it. They all talk about gratitude. They all talk about living your life from being grateful. And I'm like, or actually, even before that, when I heard that, I'm like, okay, I can be grateful for wonderful things that's happening to me, but how can you be grateful for pain and suffering? Well, first of all, pain and suffering is in the eye of a beholder, just like truth is. What if pain and suffering is actually a point of view? I remember a moment in my life. I was after surgery, going through a lot of complications, being in major depression. And I left my husband, left my house, and was living in an apartment, which was on the first floor. And there was a little patio that was I was uh, utilizing it to go out, at least get some fresh air because I could barely walk at that moment. I was in severe pain because I also had fibromyalgia. I had a lot of other complications after the open heart surgery. I had a bypass at 37. So granted I couldn't work so, and I couldn't do much. All I could do was lay out on the patio and just It was summer. Luckily, that day was not very hot. And I was looking around. Uh, There was a little man-made waterfall. And suddenly, it dawned on me how wonderful life is. Because I was dying. 
let's face it, I was choosing to go. And then suddenly I saw the beauty in the nature. I saw how much love earth has for us. And suddenly the sense of gratitude overwhelmed me. And it was more about totally being present with nature, with my body. Yes, I was in pain. And yes, I was grateful to be alive. And I was grateful for whatever happened to me or whatever I created. By the way, nothing happens to us. We create everything. Consciously, unconsciously, or anti-consciously, there is no way around it. Um, at that time, I believed that it happened to me, but then I realized, no, I created it just for that moment to realize how grateful I was to be alive. And from that sense of gratitude, suddenly everything shifted. Even the pain was not that overwhelming sensation. It was just like, oh, cool. I'm hurting, so I'm alive. That was a change of attitude because that would cause suffering, the attitude. Because if you think of animals, they don't have suffering over suffering. They, they hurt, yeah. Granted, they have pain. Physical pain, they don't have emotional pain. Uh, they hurt and then they get over it. Human beings, what do we do? We hurt, then we suffer over the hurt we have. Then we suffer over the suffering that we have been hurt. Oh my God, he offended or she offended me. And then it's like, oh, it creates so much suffering in my life because they hurt me. And then you hurt over that hurt. And it's nonstop. The only way to break that cycle is actually go into the gratitude. Oh my God, I can be grateful for them being an asshole. How cool is that? Because now I can actually be aware of what they're capable of. Or, oh, I had surgery. I can choose something different now. I don't have to work as a medical doctor. I can choose something different because it doesn't work for me. And what I did, I chose to become an artist first. I kind of like had the freedom because I couldn't work. I hired a physician to work in my office and I started taking classes in college, painting, ceramic, sculpture. It was such a gift. And that's the gratitude for kind of like pain and suffering, right? And when I would tell people, it's like, I'm so grateful I had that surgery. People look at me it's like, are you insane? Are you serious? I didn't even realize that they were thinking of me being crazy until kind of like in the middle of the conversation, they looked at me, it's like, how can you be grateful for surgery? Well, the surgery changed my life. The surgery was a way out because I don't, I knew I had to do something different because traditional medicine was not the answer. Not for me, not for other people. And I kind of dedicated my life to um, creating different reality. I didn't know that in that moment. But ever since I was a kid, I had major illnesses. And every major illness created kind of like a shift in me that created more gratitude. Um, when I was six years old, I had out of body experience because I think I kind of probably died. Because uh, I remember being out of my body completely. 
and kind of knowing everything and going around the hospital. And then when I came back to the body, there was a little bit of rain, they didn't air conditioner. So the window was open and there was a little drizzle outside. Or actually, no, it was a storm, but the drizzle was on my face because I was close to the window. And that sense, overwhelming sense of oneness and gratitude for being alive. You would say six-year-old cannot understand that. Um, actually, let me tell you, kids know more about life and living than adults do. They know more about magic and energy than we do. And at six, I was totally aware of everything and everyone. I kind of could see entities and talk to them. Uh, with that overwhelming sense of oneness and gratitude, there was like, I'll be okay. No matter what, I will be okay. That where I was, when everything kind of like ended and I left the hospital, I was searching for that sense of oneness and gratitude. I remember having it as a kid and then I lost it because I started getting angry at God, at divine, at universe for things that were not going my way. That was part of growing up. So I closed myself off and decided that, okay, that's it. And the key word was decided. That was not a choice. And we'll talk about choice when we come back because it's time for our first break of the show. You've been listening to Creating Abundance with myself, Dr. Helen Gidlovich, on the Inspired Choices Network. And we'll be right back. Many of us live our lives based on karma, on the past and all the unfinished business in our lives. What would you choose if you did not have karma or if you could choose what you desired instead? By tuning into Creating Abundance with Ease radio show with Dr. Helen Gitlovich, you'll receive tools and inspiration you can use to create the abundance in your life. You are an infinite being with infinite choices. Are you ready to have ease with creating abundance? Listen for Creating Abundance with Ease radio show every Wednesday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Are you a subject matter expert? Are you here to share your expertise with an audience waiting to hear from you in only the way you can deliver? Are you ready to have your voice amplified across the airwaves? Inspire Choices Network has a global radio platform streaming to millions of people across the world. Professionally produced and supported by an accomplished team every step of the way, you can broadcast from anywhere in the world knowing your voice matters and we ensure it is delivered with ease and efficiency. Eager to hear your message, the world awaits. Contact us today to become an Inspire Choices Network radio host Email become a host at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. This is the Creating Abundance with Ease show with Dr. Helen Gitlovich. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also make the choice to ask or comment by email by sending to helen.g at att.net. Now, back to the program. Welcome back, everyone. I'm Dr. Helen Gitlovich on Creating Abundance with Ease. And today our show topic is gratitude as a way of life. And before we went on a break, I was talking about choice versus decision. Because there is such a huge difference between decision and choice. Decision is only one. Because let's face it, we are trained to look for the right decision, the correct choice, the one and only choice and decision. 
which is actually not a choice. The choice is light. The choice is what's true for you. And you can be grateful for that. And then you can change it. Decision you cannot change. You have to stick around with that. You have to, you have to, you have to. That have to is what separates us from being happy, from being joyful. That separates us from living in gratitude all our lives. Because when I was going through surgeries, that moment of oneness and gratitude was overwhelming happiness, where there was no space or place for pain. There was no space or pain, like for suffering. And um, I just realized something that people will tell me, oh, you were on drugs. Um, yeah, probably, but that does not diminish uh, that sense of overwhelm. And the moment that I actually remember it, it tells me that it probably were not drugs that caused that. It was actual oneness. It was actual gratitude. And that's my invitation for you right now. Just drop your barriers and expand. Because you cannot have total sense of gratitude when you contract it, when you limit it, when you are squished in the body or maybe even in your head and have all the thoughts, feelings, and emotions going through your mind, through your brain, through your being. When you're expanded, that's when you can let the gratitude Ian, um, if you think about, um, there is a scale of vib emotional vibrations. They actually measured uh, vibrations of emotions. And when we think about the emotions of sadness, anger, they were very low. They're at about two, five, 10 megahertz or minihertz, whatever they are. I don't remember the actual measurement unit. When you're looking at gratitude, it's in 500, 700 love, like universal love. It's all very high vibration because they are not emotions anymore. They are spaces of being. It's about choosing to occupy bigger space than you can possibly imagine. So drop your barriers and expand and you can download that expansion exercise or variation of that from my website, uh, Creating Abundance With Is. You can sign up for newsletter. And, but the meditation is free anyway. You can unsubscribe at any moment. But you can have that as a daily routine. That meditation probably saved my life on a number of occasions when um, I woke up with awareness of everything that's going on in the world, especially nowadays with COVID. So no matter what's going on in your life, no matter what's going on in the world, there is always, always, always space for gratitude and expansion. And gratitude always expands you. Even before we expand, just drop your barriers and think of a moment for which you're grateful for. Like for me, immediately comes birth of my child um, and my open heart surgery and my other surgery when I actually was in oneness. And guess what? I already expanded. How about you? I'm getting that you expanded as well. <laughs> How much fun can we have with expansion? And now from that space, from your heart, allow yourself just to go out into the world, expand 100 miles or kilometers, 1,000 miles or kilometers. Actually, I'll go in kilometers just because the whole world is a metric system and only US and I believe England is or Great Britain is on that miles and non-metric system. 
But anyway, you can substitute kilometers, miles, doesn't matter what you're measuring uh, distance in, but just go with a sphere and just keep expanding, keep expanding. Let's go a hundred thousand miles, kilometers, make yourself as big as earth. So your body and earth is inside of you. Huh. Thank you. And now let's look at how much gratitude do you have for our beautiful planet and for our beautiful body. Let's start with the body. Because think about your body. Now that you're expanded, it's inside of you and you can hug it. And you can ask what does the body requires. And by the way, do you have any discomfort in your body right now, any pain? I wonder if that disappeared with you expanding because a lot of contraction can cause intensities in the body, but that's a conversation for a different day. So think about your body does all those functions from eating, sleeping, having sex and elimination processes. Think for a second, if body didn't eliminate waste, through number one or number two, through peeing or pooping, um, what would happen to you as a being? Would the body actually get diseased? Yeah. So let's be grateful for everything body does and what body is. Let's allow ourselves just for a second, be grateful for our body and just say, thank you, body. The way I do it a lot of times, I just take a little energy between my hands and put it on my head, my face, my shoulders, and just allow it to kind of like be present with the gratitude I have for my body. And just allow it to be, allow it to be present. And now let's talk to the planet, Earth, for a second. How much grateful are you that you are alive on this planet? No matter what's going on, forget the COVID, forget the control, forget the governments, forget the countries you're living with, forget the people. Let's look at the planet, the oceans, the rivers, the trees, the grass, the animals, and just allow yourself to connect to it and ask, what contribution can I be today for you? And there is another side because contribution is gifting and receiving simultaneously. How much are you willing to receive from earth? And how much are you willing to be grateful for whatever earth is gifting you? Right now I'm sitting in Chicago and it looks like a snowstorm out, <laughs> or at least some snow is falling and it's beautiful. Everything is white and pure. And I'm so grateful for the beauty that's outside. It's about just choosing more and choosing to see the beauty in everything. Because the attitude could have been, oh my God, it's a snowstorm. So much snow. I cannot drive in the snow. Oh, it's so cold. Uh, yeah. Some people choose that. What if it's just a choice? What if it's more about creating through your attitude? <sighs> just allow yourself to be. Just allow yourself to be present with every attitude you have. And just look at that. You don't have to get rid of whatever you believed in for centuries 
or you might. Let's do a little exercise. That's the difference between choice and decision. And I'm going to time you because because choice is good only for 10 seconds. That's it. 10 seconds of decision. You cannot do more than that. So starting now, look at your life and be grateful for everything and everyone in there. But only for 10 seconds. You don't have to be um, grateful forever. Just 10 seconds, starting now. And now you can go back to your attitude of it's a miserable existence, COVID is out there, I cannot see anybody, blah, 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 all of that. Um, and now be grateful again, because 10 seconds is up. And now go back to complaining and being in your trauma and drama again. Huh. Three more seconds of trauma and drama and now be grateful and expand it and have ease with everything that's going on in your life. And you don't have to do anything, just be. And now go back to your problems and trauma and drama and, um, and allow yourself to be present intensely, like indulge yourself in the problems because it's all mental. Your point of view creates your reality. So now be grateful for all your trauma and drama for 10 seconds, that's it. Just be grateful that you have trauma and drama because you're alive. How cool is that? Because if you die, you wouldn't have any problems. For some people it's easier and that's what they choose. And what if it's not the wrongness? What if we can be grateful for their choices, even for our choice to die? It's a good place to stop uh, and go on a break, by the way. So you've been listening to um, Creating Abundance with Ease with myself, Dr. Helen Gitlovich on Inspired Choices Network. And we'll be right back after the break with more about gratitude. Many of us live our lives based on karma, on the past and all the unfinished business in our lives. What would you choose if you did not have karma or if you could choose what you desired instead? By tuning into Creating Abundance with Ease radio show with Dr. Helen Gitlovich, you'll receive tools and inspiration you can use to create the abundance in your life. You are an infinite being with infinite choices. Are you ready to have ease with creating abundance? Listen for Creating Abundance with Ease radio show every Wednesday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Magic and abundance are everywhere. What if you could tap into abundance and start creating your life with complete and total ease? Working with Dr. Helen Gitlovich will give you exactly that, total ease in creating abundance in your life. Dr. Gitlovich creates classes all over the world, both in person and online. She works with you to create abundance with your money, with your body, with your relationships, with all areas of your life with total ease. Connect with Dr. Helen Gitlovich at creatingabundancewithease.com. Her contribution in your world will be a noticeable gift in a very short period of time. This is the Creating Abundance with Ease show with Dr. Helen Gitlovich. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also make the choice to ask or comment by email by sending to helen.g at att.net. Now, back to the program. Welcome back, everyone. I'm Dr. Helen Gitlovich on Creating Abundance with Ease. And today our show topic is gratitude as a way of life. Before we went on the break, we were going in the exercise of 10 seconds choice and 
either choosing to be in the trauma and drama of our lives or being in the gratitude. And let's do it again. <laughs> I love doing that exercise. So 10 seconds of indulging yourself in your trauma and drama and your problems and everything else. And then 10 seconds of just pure gratitude, even for the problems, even for the hurts, even for the pain and suffering. So let's do that for a second or 10 seconds, I would say. Um, indulge yourself. We're going to do it just one minute. Uh, indulge yourself in your problems. Like really, really think about them and suffer and choose that. And now choose to be grateful for everything. Uh -huh. hmm. And now choose to be in a trauma and drama again or pain or suffering or all of this and now choose gratitude. So truth, can you actually stay in your trauma and drama if you're being the space of gratitude? No. That's pretty much the tool of the week. For the next week, my invitation to you is anytime you get yourself in the pickle, in a situation where you're depressed and anxious, anytime when you're in pain, first of all, just ask who does it belong to? Because a lot of times it might not be yours, but if it's yours, just choose to be grateful for that problem. Let's play with that. Whatever problem you have right now, what if you chose to be grateful for that? What would that create? Even if you are really sick, if you're killing your body, what if you're grateful for killing your body? Because if you die, you wouldn't have any problems. And that's a choice. And what if you're suffering because somebody else is dying or died? What if you'd be grateful for their choice? You can always find the reason to be grateful. There is always, always something to be grateful. Even if there is nothing else, just by looking outside, even for the bad weather, even for the snowstorm, even for the thunderstorm, even for the rain, even for a beautiful sunshine. I would like maybe to give you a little home play. Every morning for the next week, write down 10 things you're grateful for. And they can be the same things over and over again. They can be different every single day. It can be more than 10. But choose 10. 10 is a good number. Um, it's about, if you can't find 10, just five but I'm pretty sure you can find 10 things. They can be small, they can be big. They don't have to be enormous. It can be as simple as, I'm so grateful I can get out of bed. I'm so grateful that I cannot get out of bed. It doesn't matter what you can be grateful. You can be grateful for good things, bad things, because there is no good or bad. Everything is in the attitude. There is no right, there is no wrong. As soon as we decide that something is good, something is bad, or something is right, or something is wrong, guess what? You cannot change it. So if you have a problem and you've decided it's something that's bad, or you might decide that it's a good thing because you like punishing yourself, people are weird, just saying you will keep that problem in. 
if you have an attitude towards certain person, you don't like them, you resist and react to them, you align and agree that they are a jerk, that person will be in your life. Maybe not that particular person, but that type of person will always follow you throughout your life. The only way to kind of like create difference is being total allowance of what's going on in your life. And the gratitude is exactly the prescription. So as a doctor, I'm writing you a prescription for the next week, every morning and every night, write down 10 things you're grateful for and allow yourself to be in truly gratitude for whatever is in your life. It's about choosing something different. It's about being present. Because look at this moment and choose to be grateful for whatever it is. Are you present? Are you aware of what's going on in your life? Yeah, you are. Because when you're in gratitude, you're actually present in your life. And great. And Yes, there is a pun a little bit there. Gratitude is a present in your life. And you become present in your life as well. Because otherwise you're on autopilot. If you are in your trauma and drama, you are continuously being in the autopilot, in the unconscious way of life and living. What if you stop that? What if you actually chose to be conscious and aware? Would that change your problems? If you're aware, you can choose something different. If you're unconscious, you keep repeating the same thing over and over again. So can you change anything if you're doing the same thing over and over again? By the way, that's the definition of insanity, according to Einstein. If you're doing the same thing over and over again, you cannot change. The only way to change is choose something different. And one of the ways you can see what to choose is to be in gratitude for what is, to be aware of what is. And that's a different way of functioning. Just allow yourself for the next 10 seconds. Imagine your life. And if you be walking and talking and being present in a way of gratitude, be 100% in the space of gratitude. Huh. Totally different, isn't it? I love it. I love being grateful. And that's a choice. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Choice creates a different reality. Choice creates, choice creates. And what if you can create your life from consciousness, from gratitude, from being present? How much different your life would be in this moment? Would you choose pain and suffering? Well, maybe. Uh, I love it. I was listening to a lecture by Michael O'Neill. Um, it's a little different. It's a three principles based on the work of Sidney Banks. And he was talking about, um, I don't remember the name of the producer or director who got a heart attack during filming a movie. And he saw him in the hospital with his wife holding his hand and just saying and repeating over and over again, it's just a movie, it's just a movie. What if our life is just a movie? What if it's not real? What if we chose to come into this life as a character in the movie that we are both wrote the script, and directing and playing the role of the main character. 
And what if we can rewrite the script according to what we choose? How much more fun would it be? Uh, I love movies. It's kind of like I see um, kind of like universe talks to me through the movies a lot of times. And I was watching one of those movies. Um, I don't remember. I think it was Hybrid Family or something like that. Excuse me. Oh, I was needed to sneeze. Um, and um, uh, the boy goes to college and he joins, uh, I think it's a movie making class and he's watching the first day how they filming and he's like, yeah, it's good, but not quite. What if we change the script to something else? And the director is like, oh, yeah, we can do that. I think it will be better. And so that night they rewrite the whole script. So the next day, the movie is totally different. So what if that is your life that you're living? What if you can just in the evening by choosing to be grateful for what is, that's actually an invitation to rewrite the script of what's not working in your life. How much more fun would life be if every evening you would just look at your life and say, oh, I like this, I like this, but I don't like this. I'm going to rewrite this. I'm going to take it out of the script for tomorrow and enjoy my life. Uh, I think next week I'll be talking about reason for life and reason for living, but it's actually to have fun. Because a lot of people come to me for sessions, for consultation, especially during Akashic Records, and they ask, what's the purpose of my life? And every single time, you know what was the answer? Or the awareness or call it whatever you want. Purpose of life is to have fun, to enjoy life. So how much are you enjoying the movie of your life right now? What if by choosing and changing to gratitude, you actually start enjoying it and have fun for a change? And time flies. It's time for our third of the break of the show. And you've been listening to Creating Abundance with Is with myself, Dr. Helen Gitlovich, on the Inspired Choices Network. When we return, we'll continue to talk more and we'll be right back. Many of us live our lives based on karma, on the past and all the unfinished business in our lives. What would you choose if you did not have karma or if you could choose what you desired instead? By tuning into Creating Abundance with Ease radio show with Dr. Helen Gitlovich, you'll receive tools and inspiration you can use to create the abundance in your life. You are an infinite being with infinite choices. Are you ready to have ease with creating abundance? Listen for Creating Abundance with Ease radio show every Wednesday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. This is the Creating Abundance with Ease show with Dr. Helen Gitlovich. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. You can also make the choice to ask or comment by email by sending to helen.g at att.net. Now, back to the program. Welcome back, everyone. I'm Dr. Helen Gidlovich on Creating Abundance with Ease. And today our show topic is gratitude as a way of life. And we've talked a lot about what gratitude creates in our lives. And also, when we are in gratitude, we actually change totally everything that going on in our lives. Because we try to control everything. We try to be in control 
not being controlled by others. And it's funny because right now, um, yesterday we started a 30 days of Facebook Lives with clearing, getting out of control and out of definition and out of structure and form and all of that. It's about 20 to 30 minutes uh, Facebook Lives in a, a being you without hiding group. And I'll be sharing on my page, Creating Abundance as well. And this is about access consciousness and it's totally free. You can watch it in recording, you can uh, join live and ask questions. It's just a fun thing, but we've done 30 days of certain clearings that Gary Douglas, founder of Access, asked us to do for 30 days to change reality with COVID, with uh, everything that's going on with governments, with isolation, and some things are shifting right now. So we've decided to continue the tradition with one of the clearings. Um, because the way we did it, it was hour and a half, sometimes close to two hours of doing 30 clearings. And we are doing it in four different languages. So people can join us from all walks of life, all countries. It's in English, Spanish, Russian, and Hebrew. Um, and as I said, you can join us different times of the day, just join a group, being you without hiding. Um, and you will see notification. Usually it's about five, 10 minutes before, sometimes it's two hours, uh, but it's going to be every day right now. And it is going to be a few classes that I'm facilitating online and live. I'm in Chicago area, so I've been facilitating bars classes. The next one live bars class comes February 23rd. There is also intensity of being on March 3rd and 4th, split into one day adventure, an introductory class on February 22nd, foundation online and life and body class, which is only life on March 12th to 14th. I'm also going to be hosting a global foundation, which is coming up in Mexico, done by Gary Douglas, founder of Access, which I will have in my home on April 30th, May 3rd. It will be live from Mexico to Buffalo Grove and I will be co-facilitating with Gary. So there is a lot of opportunities for you to get tools of access consciousness. There is also Akasha Crackers class coming up. That's going to be in Russian if you speak Russian. And you can always contact me if for classes, for private sessions. And let's talk a little bit more. We have only a few minutes left in the show about you, how you can choose to be more grateful for everything that's going on, no matter what's going on in your life with your loved ones. One of the ways is recognizing everything is a choice. A choice can be conscious, choice can be unconscious or anti-conscious. And by anti-conscious, I mean against you. A lot of illnesses are done against us. And the way we choose it out of fear, out of anger, out of uh, guilt, there is so many destructor implants that programming that create the illnesses create problems and that's where we create unconsciously or anti-consciously think of our mind as pretty much only a little bit like four to five percent is cognitive 95 percent or 94 percent or 90 percent is unconscious we have no idea what we are thinking there. We have no idea what we are creating. The only way we can, like one of the ways, we can access it through meditation. When we are doing deep meditation, we bring all those things to the surface and we can let go. When we are in gratitude, it just melts. Everything kind of like that iceberg starts melting 
no matter what our thoughts, feelings, and emotions are underneath all of that cognitive or cognition, I would say. And what if we can choose to let it go, even without knowing what we are choosing to let go? Because a lot of times that's a control. We have to know what we are letting go. I was uh, facilitating somebody at uh, one of the intro classes and there was a lot of medical problems that person have, but nothing that would kill him right away. So when I asked what's the value in creating all of that, that person told me there was definite value. Like the kids were visiting him more often. His wife was taking care of him. And there was, I don't even remember, there was a whole list of values that created that illness for him. Yes, he was killing his body, but he was enjoying the illness. And he could choose gratitude and let go of that value. And I asked him, it's like, would you let go of that value? There was a huge pause and the awareness I got, he was not willing to let go of the value of the illnesses. It was more about him suffering and actually making other people suffer. So he would get whatever he was getting out of it. And what if you recognize that with yourself, with other people and make another choice from the gratitude? What if you be grateful for what they're choosing and then chose based on what's required for you? What would be fun for you? What if you started living your life instead of obligation from choice, from gratitude? And the action could be the same. You still can visit them. You still can be with them, but without point of view that you have to suffer with them. What if you can be grateful for their suffering and just choose to be with them as long as they're here on this planet alive? It's about choices. And just to kind of like summarize, because we have only a couple of minutes left in the program, you can join me next week and we'll talk more about reason for living, having fun, and possibly more about gratitude. Because it seems like we're just scratching the surface uh, what gratitude can do and be and how it can change your life. Maybe there would be a part two of gratitude as a way of life. I'm sensing there might be more of things coming up and you can always welcome to ask questions. You can join us in the chat and write your questions in the chat. Send the questions before the show uh, to my email uh, through the website or message me on Facebook, message me on Instagram. I'm everywhere and uh, just be grateful that we are all here in this time in this interesting time of social isolation where we have more time to listen to podcasts, more time to watch uh, movies, to watch and be with what makes us tick. We can actually go inside and look at what is our reason for living. And as I said, there would there are classes coming up. Uh, you can contact me anytime and I will see you next week. Same time, same place. And just be grateful. Allow yourself to be in that space of gratitude, no matter what it is. And home play, 10 things you're grateful for every morning and every night. Bye-bye. Thank you for choosing to listen to Creating Abundance with Ease radio show. Dr. Helen Gitlovich will return next Wednesday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. We hope you'll join us. Until then, have fun using the tools of the week in your life. 
and start creating magic in your life and your body.